which really I, good film. Which uh, I, I almost prefer it to the commitments, just for sheer laughs. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the genre crossover quality that the commitments has because it, it's got its feet in a lot of different classrooms. Yeah. Like, but the uh, snapper makes me laugh so much. And see, when you read the book, because he got to do the script himself on that one. Commitments was screenplayed by. Uh, um, uh, Dick Clement and Ian Lettering is they'll be the same pet <laughs> and, and never seen ever again <laughs> those guys and um, but uh, with the snapper he got to do his own screenplay from his own book and I had just read the book um, when I, I I went and watched the movie and you'd realise oh it's just like a brilliant rewrite he just perfected certain jokes yeah. from, from the book That's but that, that movie is just so great for me and Colin Meany it was, he really got the shine yeah um, he was brilliant the only thing is I, I wish they'd made all movies about the rabbits the Commitments yeah, is the only one where they actually made it the rabbits. Because all three books, The Van, Snapper, Commitments, it's all about the family, the, uh, the rabbit family. And actually, the character who gets pregnant, Sharon Rabbit, or in the movie Sharon Curley, in The Snapper, she's played by Sharon Corr. In The Commitments. Or Andrea Corr, rather, in, in The Commitments, which is pretty interesting. If, if you'd had her in The Snapper getting knocked up. Ah, <laughs> 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 Can't really see it. No. And of course, the third one then was uh, the Van, which is a great book and I think a terrible movie. Yeah. With the Van, it 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 didn't have that same grimy, lovely grimy quality the commitment side, which showed mm -hmm. a reality of Irish society at the time. Whereas, because the, the Van was shot about six seven years later, when the Celtic Tiger was in full. <laughs> Does he not like tigers? <laughs> I better let her out. So. Um, it was it was Come shot on. when the Celtic Tiger was in full swing. Yet it was still set in 1990 during the World Cup. Yeah. So it was set in a time where things were still kind of shit, and so it should have felt more like the Snapper or the Commitments. But because they shot it during a much more affluent time in Ireland, it just didn't feel right. And and they, they didn't do a good job of trying to recreate that feel. Everything just looks a bit too clean and sunny. Somehow it's like they couldn't make up their mind whether they want to show off what Ireland looks like now. Or show what it was in the time it's set in. That's what I found when, when I watched the band. Mm. It's just too sort of sanitized to feel um, real in any way, kind of. Well, there was another film, uh, not set, like, it was filmed in the 90s, I believe, but not set in the 90s, The Field. Like, that but, showed oh, Grimy Ireland as well. Sheridan. But, yeah. From the, I love it. The countryside. Oh, I hate, well, I'm, I'm sure the play is great. I hate that movie. Why? Oh, it's Jesus Christ, the fucking uh, Sean Bean as, as, as the traveller. Oh, it's just so... Sean wasn't a traveller. Oh, sorry, no, he, he gets involved with the traveller. But Sean Bean doing the Irish... Why, why, why can't he get Irish actors? I'm sure he couldn't have gotten a film without Irish actors. We can't have a film without Sean Bean dying, spoiler. Uh, <laughs> he, he lives Sean in Ireland. doesn't die. He does. He, does. he gets yes. run off the cliff by the, by the cows. Yeah. That's Richard Harris. No, that's, that's Sean, Sean Bean. Bean. Well, you really love the field, don't you? <laughs> Lads, Richard Harris gets run off the cliff by the cows. Sean Bean runs away with the gypsy girl. No, he runs, o he runs off with the gypsy girl, but he comes back to the dad and then gets run off the field yeah. by, by the cows into the water. He does. He ends up going into the, the ocean off the cliff. The, the, the little Harris. I remember about that film is that that's, like, it's the last third is that it's Richard, Richard Harris gets squeezed to death by, by Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember what happens to Richard Harris, but that's how Sean Bean dies, because I watched the montage of Sean Bean of, dying. Of, of all, of all the Sean B. deaths recently, and that's, 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 three that's a great six hour watch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone ever asks you those, National Treasure, he yeah. just gets arrested in National Treasure. He does not die in that movie. Silent Hill as well. Silent Hill, does he live in that? Yeah. What about the sequel? Uh, I can't remember, actually. That's how good it was. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, well, that brings us to Sheridan, so we may as well have we talk about Sheridan. What else did Jim Sheridan do? Uh, major movies. In America. In America. In America. Yeah. I've never seen that now. That is one that looks very good. It yeah. is actually, yeah. And it's got Paddy Considine, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And Samantha Morton, yeah. But yeah, makes any movie. Two little Irish girls as well. Two sisters, actually. Yeah, they sisters. they were actually, actually very good. Bolger sisters. I can't Bolger think of it. Right, I had it in my head one of those grew up to be Saoirse Ronan. No. <laughs> what? I I I did see the one clip where... Uh, when they're coming through customs. And it's like, what's your purpose to stay in the United States? Oh, God. And it's like, we're on holiday. My dad's not working. Oh right, yeah, yeah no, that's. Why? What, what were you thinking? He, he, the, your man asked him how many kids they have, and he says three. Paddy Considine says three, and Samantha Morton says no two. Oh well, yeah, one and dies just, at the start of the film. Oh shit! It's that's about they've left it. They've left the line. The kid died, so they went up and said, "Fuck it, we're going. We're going to do something else." Right. 
and the whole, that's he's there the whole way through, and it's it gets a wee bit sentimental. A lot of people sort of criticise it sentimentality, but it had those moments like that. There's a there's a, a bit in the middle where my heart just goes out to them. They, they send the kids down to where the mother works, and the mother's like the, where the workmate is looking after the kids, so they can have some time alone in the, the thing. Because and there's but a bit of the blindfold. Well, it, is it? Yeah, I suppose Paul's in danger of it. But Sean in danger of what? Paddy uh, Considine. Paddy Considine has a, a blindfold on. He's kind of chasing her around the room, and there's a moment where she just pulls the blind. They're on the bed. They're ready to go. She pulls the blindfold off, and it's like he hit her. It's like he. he it's like he hit her, and you're like, "What? The f this is weird." And she just kind of. He's saying, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" And she's like, "You have his eyes. You have his eyes. You have his eyes. Leave me alone. You have his eyes." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was also That's the black guy as well, who you know was giant. Oh, Jimon Hunsu. Yeah, he's yeah. brilliant. Then it should be Black Panther. I don't know why they will not make a Black Panther with that man. But um, he it should be his father, no? What? Black Panther, it's, it's a bit like the Phantom, you know, where the, it goes along the family lines. He could be his father at the start of the film, you know, dying off. In a flashback or something. Oh, flashback. yeah, that's a sequel to In America, is the Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. But, um, so, do, uh, would you recommend In America? Because I don't like Jim Sheridan. Do you think yeah, that, would, that would change my opinion on him? I don't, well, I don't know. I, I, I would recommend it. But, uh, like, look, a lot of people say it's very, it gets very sentimental, but I think those kind of moments buy the sentiment. Sometimes down. everyone gets one. I mean, M. Night Shyamalan, Unbreakable, is an incredible film. Mm. I fucking adore that film. I don't like any... Even Sixth Sense doesn't really do it for me. Oh, I like The Village. Um, I like The I Signs as well. Everyone gets one. Kind of, the Signs has a lot of silliness in it. A lot of the plot <laughs> yeah, really well, doesn't hold up. You know? The happening? It's not as silly as the happening. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's like, you've you come here to kill back. That's the, I've never seen the happening, but just that famous clip. It's like, you've come here to kill me, haven't you? No, no. The Mark Wahlberg <laughs> reaction. <laughs> it's like, so essential. No, we haven't. No. I think the problem with the happening was that people went in expecting another sort of shame Yeah, horror. and it, it's actually, the, the start of it is really good. The first... 15, 20 minutes, I thought it was really good. It, it pulled me in and then it just sort of lost the plot once they started leaving, uh, was it Pittsburgh or uh, Pennsylvania? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, once they got on the train and, you know, and then they try to explain what's going on. I was like, no, no, just don't explain it. It would have been better if it was just a series but, of events happening. Right, so, um, with, with the Celtic Tiger coming in, <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there was a, as I'm saying with the van, it was just a different feel. There was a shift in the way Irish movies were made. And actually, sticking with Roddy Doyle, um, a good example of that is when Brenda met Trudy. Love that film. Um, mm -hmm. I, I have mixed feelings with it. It, it can be very, very funny in places, but I, I think one of the problems with it, it's one of those Irish movies that's trying to be kind of cosmopolitan. It's, it's trying to show, hey, look, Ireland's an affluent country now. We've modernized. Forget the images of the commitments, horses on, on housing estates. Uh, um, there's more to Ireland than this. Uh, <laughs> it, it, but it's, it's sort of false. It's kind of, we hadn't caught up that much yet. And there was, this, there was this emphasis in the 90s on just rushing ahead too much to try and show something that wasn't really Ireland. And you can, I sort of get that with, with Brennan Trudy. It has its tongue in its cheek, though. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it has that bit where they're watching the news and Anne Doyle comes on to say, the UN, today the UN announced that Ireland is a lovely country. <laughs> I remember a bit in the supermarket, I have to say, I have a love-hate relationship with that movie. I remember not a bit, it just, it's so in the background, so you could very easily miss it, but they're in the supermarket, and all you hear come over the speaker system is, uh, Michelle, your mammy wants you. Michelle, your mammy wants you. So there's a lot of just great Roddy Doyle stuff, but I think maybe it can go down to the direction. Maybe I think mm. it was... Who directed it? Kieran J. Walsh. What else has he done? Um, he did a sketch show with a lot of those guys, Peter McDonald and um, uh, there was a sketch show with and, Peter McDonald and the guy, the young Christy Brown, you know that actor? Yeah. He was in the Musketeer movie. I have a vague, vague memory of the. It was like a sketch show, but there was no comedians involved <laughs> whatsoever. It was just like a bunch of actors got together and said, "Oh, let's do some sketches. We can do a sketch show," and because they knew the right people, RT was like, "Go for it, yeah, yeah, great, great." Um, RT is a devil like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah.